Hey y'all doing this Robert Burnham and Terry Preacher Man R&B in the center episode of Richard TV 91. This time we're reviewing Dragon Ball Super Season 5 Episode 49. What happens on this week's episode, Goku and uh, Kefla are still fighting and Goku's in Ultra Instinct now. But he still has a master it and they're, uh, Ke Kefla goes up to Super Saiyan 2 in her fusion form. And she's throwing all these attacks at Goku. But Goku's uh, dodging them by his muscle movements. He's not consciously doing this. And that's what Ultra Instinct is. Your body reacts on its own and you're not consciously making the movements. And he's be he's able to dodge perfectly. But when he goes into a melee attack, he's still using his conscious instinct to punch. But he hasn't mastered his muscles working on their own while attacking it and he's not able to do this at 100 percent and he charges up his kamehameha wave and he's steadily dodging all of uh kefla's energy blast and she does this big ultimate final injury blast to try to get rid of goku and goku's able to dodge it balancing on his kamehameha wave uh ball form over her energy blast and using the Kamehameha wave to knock her out the rain and defeat Kefla. And they uh, separate back into Kyle and Kel and Kalifa. And they're eliminated. Well, while this is happening, Jiren gets out of his uh, meditation state and sees that Goku's still a threat. But after the end of this fight, Goku gets out of Ultra Instinct again and is pretty much shot at this point. He's, he's drained. And we'll have to see what happens with that. But other than that, that's all that really happened. My question for y'all is, do y'all think Goku could get enough energy to go into Ultra Instinct a third time in this tournament? As always, Preacher Man RB sign out. Guys, GG's also awesome. It's been Richard TV 91 See y'all next time.